It's like the perfect summer movie because it also acknowledges how summer movies are made. And I think everyone's a filmmaker anyway now. Everyone makes their own content. Everybody, cat's out of the bag. So it's just fun to be in something that acknowledges what everybody already knows. I mean, Logan, are they there right now? Okay, so Ben Jenkins, basically anything parkour. He got set on fire eight times for me. How do you thank somebody for that? He did, got hit by a car. By the way, he wanted that. He was like, if I do this job, I want to get set on fire. I want to get hit by a car. And we were like, I think we can arrange that. And then Logan Holiday broke the record for most car rolls in a film ever. Oh, Emily Boom Boom Blunt or Stunty Blunty. She's the best. And she can kick some alien ass. I don't know if you, have you seen the movie? I've seen it three times. Oh my God. She just, she should do just a straight, like Matt Damon should pass the Bourne franchise under her. It's really fun to watch her fight. I can't think of a film where a director is more like born to make that film. I mean, you look for that as an actor, you want to work with directors that are like, you know, meant for that film on some level, but they're always sort of researching them, trying to, to understand them or get under the hood. But this is his life, you know, and also his love story with his wife, Kelly, who produces his films, is that this is a love story at the heart of it as well. So it's just like, we just look to them as our kind of North Star. I think it's amazing. I, I'm so proud to be in it. It's completely unique, it's, it's fun and effervescent and it will leave you awestruck. These stunts are insane, they're done practically in the old school way and it's a love letter. It's a love letter to everyone I've grown up with in this industry and everyone I work with every day, so it's, it's awesome. It was so fun, it was like Neverland, like I cried when it ended. I cried most of the way home from Australia. <laughs> David Leach always has incredible music in his movies and he's so hip and cool and stylistic and the music usually leads him to the vibe of the film and he had this idea for Kiss very early on and did you hear Youngblood's version of Kiss? Oh, it's no. sick. The full kidnap of a cinematic experience. Just go. Run to it. You're going to have a good time. For me personally, David Leach and Kelly McCormack are so desperately in love with movies that every second on set was, does that serve the audience? Will that serve the audience? Will the audience love that? Will we need to, do we need to go here? Do we save the kiss till then? What will the audience want? And I love proper movie makers. That's why I love Tom Cruise, because movie makers, people that want to just pull you in and they don't let you go till they're done. It's everything we want in a big movie. It's a blockbuster, action, romance. It's so funny. There's drama, there's murder. There's so many different things going on. Uh, but it was a blast to shoot. Well, I was in such great hands. Like, the director has also been a stuntman for so many years. So he knew exactly what he wanted. I had the whole sword sequence. I worked with a, an entire amazing stunt team. Um, Philly Anderson was my stunt double. And we just had a blast. It was so much fun. And um, yeah, I think it really translates so well in the film. It just makes you feel good. It makes you laugh. You're on the edge of your seat. It's just there's such a vibrancy in this film. And I think we all need a break from the mundaneness of our lives sometimes. And this is just a great like excuse to get out, hang out with your friends and have a laugh. The movie is just like it's everything rolled into one. It has so many of the classic features that brought you to the movie theater in the first place, right? It's got comedy, it's got action, it's got drama, it's got love and romance, action, big stunts and movement, and great witty banter. So it's one of those movies that it doesn't require much of you, but you leave feeling full. It didn't feel like putting your body in danger because he understands, he comes from that world, he understands how to make things work, how to lessen any kind of risk. And the people that he works with, I think as much as they're great at saying we can do that and that's possible, they're really great at saying no. They're really great at saying, yeah, that's not possible. We didn't have enough time. That's not prepared enough. So they really employed that, you know, powerful no to make you feel protected, make you feel advocated for. So I think that's why in turn we feel so moved and deeply invested in this love letter to the sense community because 
in so many ways in things that they do, but the things that they say and don't let happen protect us. It's fun. It's got Ryan Gosling shirtless several times, right? I show a little shoulder. So uh, it's got a little bit of everything. And then at the end of the day, the performances are incredible. They give meaning to something that we often don't talk about very often. Um, and it's just time. It's, it's the time in the world where we're all fighting for recognition. And this is the stunts community's time. When we set out to do this, the Fall Guy is a title that's uh, very revered by the stunt community. So we had to really think of some big stunts to do and old school stunts. So we did car jumps, you know, Logan Holiday broke a record car cannon roll. Um, you saw Troy just do a high fall. He did something three times as high on the Fall Guy. So we really stepped it up a notch. And um, but again, we leaned into the old school stunts. It was fun. It's a celebration of big commercial popcorn movies and all of the people who yeah. make them all over the world, including like everybody in Hollywood. It's so nice to be here um, with the movie and let's go. Let's go to the movies, everybody. A joy bomb. <laughs> uh, action, romance and laughs. Pinch me. It was just a magical experience, truly. It's like, you know, one plus one plus one plus one equals like a trillion in that sort of scenario. Everybody is so dedicated to, you know, being a good steward to their character and to be truly being like having the whole movie in mind that um, I miss it every day. We had the most amazing experience. It's really just piggybacking on what Kelly said. Like it was, um, it, it is a pinch me moment. There's some of the best actors working today. Um, watching them create these characters on, every day in front of our eyes was just a, a joy and an honor, really. So it was really amazing. Honestly, when you write a movie like this, the reason you're doing it is so that all of this madness comes together. Um, and it's a movie about how spectacular movies are. So, yeah, being here on, you know, Hollywood Boulevard and launching our film is just absolutely crazy. David Leach is over there. Um, no, he's the reason I did the film. Um, you know, when I got the phone call about this, I said to Leach, I'll do it if what we do is we make the film that when they do an in memoriam uh, at the Oscars, this is going to be the one that they talk about. Which is a weird thing to tell your friends, but also like a great mission statement. For 30 years, they've been talking about making this movie. And I'd get these calls and I go, yeah, yeah. They actually did it. I'm so stoked. This is a love letter to stunt people who are the hardest working people in Hollywood. They really are. I always worshipped our stunt people. Just being on this movie, like I grew up watching the series and Colt Seavers was a household name. Like my dad, I would go jump off of something and my dad would be, who are you? You think you're Sonny Hooper or uh, Colt Seavers or what are you doing? And it was wild getting the opportunity to actually be Colt Seavers for this. And uh, you know, there were so many personal levels to this job and to the fall and just to this whole thing. It was a, it's a one in a lifetime opportunity. And that's, as me, <laughs> how crazy is that? Yeah, it's wild. There's still an element of fear. I feel like once that goes away, if you're just someone who's willing to chuck yourself off of stuff, that's when it goes wrong. So the fear is something that keeps you here and that all plays into our safety and everything so yeah it's uh i think fear is a good thing it's hard to say one thing because there's so many aspects of the movie that i think are so strong like the stunts is just one thing you go into this movie knowing that the action is going to be huge and you know that there's going to be stuff on screen that has never been done ever before but the story is also so good the love interest is amazing the creative style of it the sound everything it's there's so many things that play into why this is a great film and yeah, I can't wait to watch it again.